What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I finally have my second big PSA order and some could say it's big, some could not say it's big. Size doesn't matter, we all know that. But it is a 27 card submission. I think it's all wrestling cards once again, but I could be wrong, I'm not entirely sure. And I, this literally just got delivered three, four minutes ago. So let's see which box is lighter. This one's lighter, so we're going to start with this one and then get into the big box so we know what we're dealing with. As you can see, I have not opened this yet, but I'm very excited to get into it. This is a blind reveal. I only saw like, I think three of the graves and that's just because I was trying to track the shipping on there and it just kind of popped up out of nowhere. So that sucks, but I, uh, I will say that uh, I was pretty impressed with what we saw so far so you know what we're gonna do we're gonna take these and turn them like this and take this box throw it over to the side there we go okay so the first card we have here is the Cora Jade RPA from Impeccable this is the out of 25 I believe and I'm excited to see what we got here. Yeah, that's a nice, it's a hollow silver out of 25. I pulled this myself. Actually, my most watched video on my channel from last year and all total. So go check it out. I pulled two one of ones in a three box case. But this is the Cora Jade RPA. And. Yeah! Oh, we got an eight on it. Okay, so this was one of the ones that I saw, which sucked, but it is what it is. And, you know, for a thick card, I'm not really going to complain. I can always crack it out the slab, so I'm not too worried about it. So, that is our first card. Alright, our second one is the Dynamite Diamond Battle Royal from AW Spectrum. This is the Sean Spears autograph. This was out of 12. Beautiful. Like, it's got the diamond in there. It's got the autograph. Beautiful. I didn't have high expectations. I saw a uh, just some wearing on it, like to begin with when I pulled it so that sucks but uh let's go ahead and see what it got oh we got a seven yikes that is my worst grade that I've ever received from PSA not the worst one I own the worst one that I've submitted but I don't really care I just wanted it slabbed and it's in a nice thick slab that looks like it could pop open but oh well we'll go through it later all right up next is I think a 2013 Seth Rollins rookie that's what it looks like on the back yeah, Seth Rollins rookie. This is not one that I saw. Like I said, I only saw four or five. And we got a Jim Man 10 on a Rollins rookie. So that is pretty freaking sick. And I am excited about that because I submitted a Roman and I think I got a. I don't know what I got. I submitted a Dean Ambrose and I got an eight. But that's a nice Seth Rollins rookie. So that's pretty cool. Go ahead and put that in a. We'll start a 10 pile. Because uh, last time we had pretty good luck, so I'm hoping we have good luck this time. We have the Persia Parada White Sparkle 1 of 1 autograph from Prism last year. She's now tearing it up on the indies with Matt Cardona. Steph Delander, you guys know the deal. That's a beautiful card. The White Sparkle autos are some of the best looking cards that you can pull. And on this one, we got a Gem Mint 10. Yeah! That's pretty freaking cool. That's two tens back to back. Seth Rollins rookie at a Persia Parada one of one. That's a sick card. I'm definitely going to post that on my Instagram or my Twitter probably. All right. So I completely forgot, but there are a bunch of all in cards in this order. Not that one. That's not all in, <laughs> but there's way more in that box. There's like double the, I think there's like eight or 10 total. I'm not expecting a great grade on all of these at all because, I mean, they're like independent cards and it's just, it's, you don't have high expectations for a five-year-old paper card. So this is Adam Page and we got an eight on it. It's kind of what I expected, but it's a nice card to have slabbed up, especially if you're a Hangman fan. We have another Hangman Page, same card. We got a nine on that one, so I'll keep the nine, I'll sell the eight. Not going to complain about that. That's pretty sick. Big fan of that card. Up next, we have Kenny Omega. And, man, that's a sick-looking card. And we got a 9 on that one. Like, 
I looked at the pop reports and I saw that they graded the all-in cards pretty generous. So I wasn't too worried. I was kind of just wanting to get them slab more so than anything. But there's a lot more in that box to so get ready for it. This here is the Gold Shimmer Andre Chase. Shout out to Abby for showing me. that. That's scuffed up. That slab is scuffed up. Huh. She found this for me on eBay one day when she was looking for what? Was it birthday presents? Yeah. And I told her, no, don't buy it. I'll get it eventually. As you see, it is one out of five there on the back. And uh, I got it for like 12 bucks. So I got a Gem Mint 10 on that, which is crazy because I got the uh, the one of one White Sparkle Aldo of his from 23 Prism as well. So I guess I'm collecting Andre Chase. But that was a sick looking card. The Gold Shimmers are beautiful. That is it for the first box. So it's time to get into our second box. So far we had uh let's see we had two eights two nines three tens and a seven okay it could be worse it could be way worse let's see how this opens up i always struggle open these freaking boxes oh i'm opening it wrong that's why all right that's one way to open it Oh, I was stuck on this side. You idiot. Alright, so that was three, six, eight. We have, oh my god, my math. 19 cards to go in this box. So, we're going to go ahead and kind of tuck that under my monitor there. So it's not entirely in the way. Pull this back. We'll just go ahead and rip that like that. And here are the rest of the cards. So. We're just going to start here and work our way down. This here is a Cora Jade Rookie from Prism last year. This is her Silver Prism. Completely forgot that I sent this in. And we got an 8 on that. So I think I'm done sending in Prism from last year's Silvers because I have not got a good grade on any of them. But we will reluctantly add that to the 8 pile. Let's see what is up next. Sol Ruka Blue from last year. No, this year's Prism. This is out of 199. I pulled the two mojos of hers out of 25. Both of those got a 10 on it. And this one got a 10 as well. Nice. Love to see that. Love to see that. Especially for a PC item. Going to our next card. Cora Jade Auto. What is that? There's like crap on the back of it. And that wasn't there when I sent that in. You see that? Hold that up to the camera. You see that like smudge right there? That wasn't on there when I sent that in. 100% because I wouldn't have sent that if that looked like that. This out of 49, this is her Rookie Blue Auto. So it's probably going to be an 8 now because of whatever that is. And yeah, freaking 8. That sucks. That is stupid. That is so stupid. Because I wouldn't have sent that in. That is dumb. Alright, Wardlow. This is the Pyro Auto, 12 of 25. I'm going to call that the Christmas Parallel. I don't have high expectations with Upper Deck. Yeah, we got an 8, which isn't surprising. But that's a nice Warlow Alder that I actually pulled myself. And you can barely even tell that's on a sticker. That looks on card. I pulled that myself on Upper Deck E-Pack. It's the only good thing I really hit on there, to be honest. Core Jade Silver, I believe, from last year's Prism. I don't have good luck with it. But we got a 10 on that one, so that's surprising. <laughs> I don't understand it at all. For my next order, I have some uh, some cool case hits going in. I have some Legends White Sparkles. What else is in that pile? Uh, some numbered Tops Chrome Roman. Some low numbered stuff from Roman from Prism last year. It's going to be pretty cool. Okay. This is a 1991 playing card. This is the Hot Rod Joker. This is pretty sick. I love these. This is so cool for a card that's what... 32 years old now cards older than i am by a lot we got a nine on it i'm not mad about that considering this could have been played with there's no telling like what this was actually like used for that's pretty cool go ahead and sit that over to the side all righty okay roman reigns this is the 2015 atomic refractor if i remember correctly yeah beautiful card love it absolutely love it love that parallel we got a nine on it not too bad I didn't really look this one over. I bought it off a of buddy. 
but I'm not not too mad about that. I just I don't remember what else is in here at all. I'm drawing a blank. Like everything that I Okay, Charlotte Flair out of 99 from Prism, this year's Prism. The orange par parallel, they call it the poor man's gold because in certain lights it looks kind of gold. And we got a 10 on this one, which is pretty nice. I like this image a whole lot better than her backflip from last year. So not going to complain about that whatsoever. I really and truly do not remember what is in the rest of this submission. Oh, I remember that one. There you go, box. All right. This is the 2012 Leaf Originals of Wrestling out of 25 Kamala on card auto. Rest in peace, Kamala. Beautiful card. I like it because it's like really small in the uh, in the slab here, and that's that's a sick looking card, especially the nice little color match with the moon. And we got a ten on that one. I was worried sending this one in. I'm not gonna lie, because I just I I don't know. I didn't have like expectations really not low or high just nothing but this is actually really sick and i like this all right so i think this is a bunch of all in cards from here that's all in jesus is it all all in Britt baker and yeah the rest of the cards are all in and you guys see who that is right there at the bottom so we're gonna slide MJF over to the side. That's going to be the last card we reveal because that's what I'm really excited about because I have not seen what that is graded. All right. Matt Jackson, all in card. We're expecting eights or nines on pretty much all of these. And yeah, we got a nine. I don't know why. My first thought, I saw that five right there at the top and I thought I was a freaking five and I was worried. That's not too bad. They're not going to complain about that. We have another Matt Jackson in here. So if we, uh, you know, let's see if we can gem just one of these cards. They're really hard to get a 10 on. Nick Jackson. As you see there. Got a 9 on that one. Okay, okay. We're not having any surprises yet, which is good. Which is really good. Cody. Definitely want to get this in a 10 one day. We got a 9 on the Cody there. Not bad. You know, a lot of people are 10 or bust. But 9s on these are really good. Another Cody. We got an 8 on that one. No big deal. I'll sell the 8. Keep the 9. Kenny Omega, our second one. Let's see. We got an 8 on that one as well. So, what was the other one? It was... I think the first Kenny was a 9? Yeah. Keep the 9. Sell the 8. You guys know the deal. Matt Jackson. 9 on that one as well. We got a 9 on the other Matt Jackson, didn't we? Yeah, we sure did. <laughs> All right. Kazuchika Okada. Abigail, you want to come say that on camera? No. Nope? Okay. I figure. Okada, I sent this in right when it was announced that he was going to... Hold on. I might be tripping. I think I sent this when he was announced for Forbidden Door. Beautiful Okada card. The back image is cool. The front image is cool. We got a nine on that bad boy. I got a couple more of these I want to send in. Britt Baker. You know what? We'll do Nick Jackson, then Britt, and then MJF. Nick Jackson, let's say nine. Eight. Ooh, okay. Well, we know which one we can sell. Britt Baker. I have this one in a nine already. Would be cool to get a ten. I doubt we're going to get it. We got an eight. This one's going straight to eBay. But it is cool that I sent in a Britt Baker card. That's pretty sick. Yeah, I do see a little wear on that top left corner. MJF, the one that everybody wants from this set. The most desired card from the whole entire All-In set. All these arguably superstars in AEW. And uh, people want the MJF card the most. Which is crazy. But, that means we pray for a high grade. I love the image on the back. It really captures his personality. And the image on the front captures it even more. 2018 Ring of Honor. MJF all in. And we got a 9. On. Yeah! I have one of these. So Abby went over there and grabbed it. I have this exact card in a 6. And I picked it up because why not? It's an MJF. But there's literally like a mark right there on the card. But we have a 6 and now we have a 9. So this is one heck of an upgrade. We'll take this one. Might do a giveaway with that one. Who knows? But... 
that is going to be it for my PSA submission. 27 cards. The gym rate wasn't as high as last time. But let's be honest. We kind of expected that when you're sending in a bunch of all-in cards. Because those aren't going to get a 10 at all. I think the gem rates on those are really, really low. But we've got a nice mix of everything here today. Some AEW, some Legends, some WWE stars. But that is going to be it for today. As always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And last but not least, take it easy.